Johnson & Johnson is expected to ask the FDA this week for emergency use authorization for its COVID vaccine. The vaccine has the advantage of being a single dose, but it also has the lowest efficacy rate of any of the vaccines so far. Is that a concern? That's what John Shumway is looking into this morning. And John, I, when the information came out on Friday, we were all reading through. There's so many different percentages based on different yes, factors. Absolutely. Now, the short answer is you have to look beyond the headlines. Dr. Matthew Moffa, an infectious disease specialist at Allegheny Health Network, says he would take it. I think people really need to focus on the take home messages with severe disease. And this vaccine, like the others, was very effective at preventing severe disease, which is the most important part of the equation. So they found that at day 28, there is an 85% reduction in severe disease. And by day 49, there was essentially no severe disease at all. And even at day 28, uh, they reported in their press release, no hospitalizations and no deaths. If you hear these different efficacy rates, I think the natural reaction is to say, I want the most effective one. Should I be concerned about taking a vaccine that is lesser? No, I wouldn't have any reservations about taking this or the other uh, Novavax vaccine that just had a press release as well. Um, so even though, again, that quoted number is a little bit lower, uh, it gets stronger over time and it prevents what we really care about is severe illness. And Dr. Moffa points out again that this is a single dose shot and it uses simple refrigeration, Heather, which means it's much more effective in getting it out to the country as a whole. You know, we, we've been hearing a lot of opinions about what people want to get, but do people even really have a choice about which vaccine they get? Well, right now, really, you don't. If you sign up, you're going to get whatever they have there. But once Johnson & Johnson gets approved, the other vaccines get approved, more places are going to get these vaccines, and then you will have a choice based on where you go and what they are offering. But Dr. Moffa's message, take what you can get, as soon as you can get it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, John, so much.